Hi everyone, so what we're having a quick look at here is just uh, a suggestion for those of you who might be having some difficulty starting your annotated bibliography. Um, so this document will be available for you to download or print out, um, but it's designed to get you started with your search strategies that you're going to use for the annotated bibliography and for doing research for your research essay. So what we can see here on this first page is that I've broken up the keywords that uh, are in your assignment topic um, and listed them here on the left hand side and then on the right hand side I've also come up with some synonyms for those keywords and phrases some alternative ways of expressing those keywords and phrases and some related topics so for example if we have a look at natural environment which is a key phrase in your assessment topic we could also um, when we're searching use alternatives instead of just using natural environment so that will give us more options so we could use nature, we could use surroundings, we could break it up into what the natural environment's made up with, wildlife, flora, fauna, forests, air, quality, land, water and etc. You can probably think of others. The same thing with problems. So if you use problems as your search term, you're limiting yourself um, because it's not going to be that every resource uses the word problems. So you need to think of some alternatives or synonyms for the keyword of problems. And so I've just put two here, issues or challenges that you could replace that with. Um, and you may be able to use your thesaurus um, or think of others for yourself. And the same thing for um, the question talks about ways the problems are being addressed. That's quite a long and um, specific, specific phrase. And so you might substitute in your search strategy solutions, answers, strategies and other terms that mean the same thing as ways they're being addressed. Then what you have to do is for each of the problems that you have chosen, so you will have chosen two, so let's say you have chosen global warming as your key first problem, you need to think of some synonyms for global warming, so for example climate change, um, and then you need to think of some related topics and things, and this will come from your clustering of the topic, so we might think of rising sea levels, we might think of the carbon tax, we might think of the Kyoto Protocol, we might think of government legislation, um, we might think of industry, we might think of mining, we might think of ozone. All those things are within the topic of global warming. So when you're doing um, your search, you're not just going to use global warming every time because that might not be the term that's found in the resource so it won't pop up in your list of results. And then you need to do the same thing with whatever your second problem is. So write it down and then come up with from your clustering um, related terms and keywords and alternatives that you can use in your search. So once you've got all that you've got a heap of options there for formulating a search strategy and this second page here is um, designed to help you take notes as you go along while you're searching. So you need to, as you start to search, say alright well I'm going to search first in the CQ University Library catalogue and maybe you can spell and maybe you went to discover it first. Then you might have searched for global warming and Australia and that might have got you 500 results and then you might have limited to 2010 and later and then you might have found a resource from doing that. So um, that's just a little template to help you with your note taking. So see how you go with that and this document will be available on Moodle for you also to look at.